The International Monetary Fund is warning that the global financial system remains fragile and risks have increased. The IMF's Global Financial Stability Report finds that while actions taken by the U.S. Federal Reserve and Euro area policymakers have bought time, global policymakers must act quickly to address remaining vulnerabilities at both the national and global levels. The report says uncertainty about policies, especially in Europe, is undermining confidence. The financial system remains under significant stress as some banks in Europe are facing increased deleveraging pressures and deposit outflows. Well, I think that uh, to reverse the financial fragmentation in the euro area, it is essential to restore confidence. And that requires that uh, countries, especially those which are under market scrutiny, do the right things and also that the right things are done at the euro area level. And that means stabilizing the situation through the uh, mechanisms available. And at the same time, what we need is to complete the architecture of the monetary union with uh, uh, the banking union, which should be uh, advanced without delay, and also putting in place at some stage uh, some elements of uh, uh, risk sharing among uh, member states. The recent actions of the European Central Bank and the Federal Reserve are positive steps, but they are not enough on their own. The IMF also calls on national governments to clean up their banking system by helping banks that are in trouble and closing down the banks that are not viable. The negative feedback loop between sovereigns and banks can be broken first by making sovereigns and banks safer. That means that countries have to pursue well-timed fiscal consolidation strategies in order to restore the safety of the sovereigns, but also they have to complete the process of uh, cleaning up, recapitalizing, uh, restructuring or resolving where necessary the banks which have problems. And this also needs to be accompanied by the successive steps in putting in place banking union. Continued uncertainty over the euro area has led investors to pour funds into U.S. and Japanese government bond markets. These are countries with rising debt burdens of their own. This flight to safety, in turn, has kept long-term interest rates in these countries low. The IMF urges policymakers not to take low interest rates for granted and to act while there's time. I think that the main lesson that uh, Japan and the United States can learn and should learn is that they should address imbalances before markets flag their credit concerns. So act while there is still time. The IMF says that for both the United States and Japan, this means that a politically binding deficit and debt cutting plan needs to be decided now and implemented over coming years. The relative bright spot for the global financial system remains emerging market economies, but emerging markets also have domestic and external vulnerabilities that need to be addressed. Well, I think that emerging economies' main challenge is to preserve their stability so that they can continue uh, growing at uh, good, robust uh, growth rates. And that's very important, not just for them, but also for the world, given how crucial it is their role in supporting uh, global growth.